guys welcome back so in this video of just track it i'm gonna be telling you all guys how to get a nice solder finish on your any soldering so there are three main important things the first thing is soldering iron temperature that is you need to keep soldering iron temperature at 200 to 220 degrees celsius and that's the temperature at which i work and if you go above that temperature there's a high chance that you will not get a nice finish other than that you need to use a proper quality soldering wire don't get the cheap one get a proper one they are really nice and they're gonna make your experience much 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 better and another thing is that make sure that the soldering wire is a multi-core soldering wire with a rosin core so that will gonna help you a lot other than that also make sure that your tip is clean mine is not clean yet i'm gonna clean it before i perform the tutorial but make sure that the tip is clean other than that there is one more important thing that is make sure that all your wires are pre-tinned including the parts so now let's begin with the tutorial so the first thing is that you need to first make sure the placement of the wire is correct the way you want so the first thing which i'm gonna be doing is that first of all i'm gonna be soldering this wire to this pad so let me zoom in first so my soldering iron tip is clean now first of all i'm going to make sure that the wire is in correct position so here i have my forcep and this is the correct way in which i want so i'm gonna take my soldering iron i'm gonna heat it a little bit to make sure that this thing is in place and it doesn't move a lot again i'm going to do it just to make sure that this wire is not moving and as i told you before the wire and the parts were pre-tinned now the most important thing is taking this soldering wire and you need to like put some uh cold joints over this entire this uh joint on this part and i'm gonna be flashing a diagram to make sure that you guys understand what i'm trying to do i'm gonna take this solder and i'm gonna put some balls over here we're gonna make sure that entire joint is not reflowing just like this okay just gonna make sure it's big enough okay now the most important thing is that we need to get rid of this solder because this solder has no flux inside it and if you're gonna use this uh, tip and if there is this solder on it it will gonna destroy this entire thing we will not get a nice finish so first of all we need to get rid of that solder on the tip and after we have cleaned the tip we will gonna come back and i'm gonna be showing you uh what i mean by cold joint here you can see i have applied some solder over it it's a cold joint if i'm going to try to remove it it will easily come off and this is just done to make sure that there is enough solder on the this uh, pad and there's enough flux and now the most important thing is that you want to take your this forcep and then you want to keep your this uh forcep the way you want and then you need to apply some heat don't make it too la for a longer time and as you can see i got a nice solder finish so that was the quick tutorial on how to get a nice solder finish without using any third hand or like banging your head for around an hour just to get that finish aviatory technologies one of the leading manufacturers of carbon fiber and frp parts in india now servicing globally, Aviatory Technology products stand out in its quality and cost effectiveness, provide services like custom frame designing, milling your own frame, or any open source frame. One of the strongest key points is that they can reverse engineer any part up to 95% accuracy, which makes them ideal for getting your frame parts in case nobody sells the spare. This all at an affordable price, starting from $1. What are you waiting for? Go check them out.